These are the 10 chicken players, a nervous bird, right? Players that you just feel a little uneasy about, Barry. And here they are in DeAndre Swift, Mike Evans, Najee Harris, George Kittle, J.K. Dobbins, Dak Prescott, Drake London, Alvin Kamara, Jonathan Taylor, and Deshaun Watson. Barry, who's a player on this list um, that, you know, might surprise some people, but explain why you're a little bit uneasy about them? Look, I mean, a lot of these guys made my hate list as well. I'm just a little nervous, but how about one that I had... You know, I, I think Dak Prescott makes me a little nervous. Guy doesn't run anymore. He's averaging under 12 rushing yards a game the last two years. He lost Kellen Moore, who I think is a really, I thought that was a big loss for them. They want to run more and they're going to have a really good defense. So it's not going to get a lot of shootouts. J.K. Dobbins doesn't catch passes. Health has been an issue. Missed a lot of time in the preseason. Now, reports are obviously Todd Munkin uses his running backs in the passing game. So there's a chance that Dobbins, who did catch balls in college somewhat, you know, suddenly does discover usage in the passing game. But so far, we just haven't seen it. Three-headed monster there in Baltimore. So I'm a little nervous about J.K. Dobbins, especially in terms of where he's going. But all these guys have question marks around them. I'm sure they'll be fine. I have them ranked appropriately. But I've just found as I've gone through drafts, I just tend to dra draft somebody that's similarly ranked and not actually deal with any one of these players. Our third list goes in a little bit of a different direction. These are the 10 unsexy players that will help you win. Barry, how about somebody on this list that, you know, people look at and they go, nobody cares, right? That's what you always say, nobody cares when they're drafted. People kind of roll their eyes, but at the end of the day, they could be a consistent, helpful performer. Yeah, I mean, we, we've talked about Mixon, I, I think he's an RB1, but he's not really being drafted like that. Lockett as well, you know I love uh, uh, Dave Montgomery. We talked earlier in the show about how we think the Pittsburgh Steelers offense is going to uh, really take a big step forward. Deontay Johnson has 85 receptions each of the last three years. He's one of only five wide receivers in the NFL that can say that. Obviously, touchdown regression in a positive manner is coming after he, he got so many targets last year and didn't score a touchdown. He was top six in end zone targets last year. So an improved Kenny Pickett and Steelers offense, I think will help you on Deontay Johnson, who everyone got burned with last year. And so they're out on him. You know, I love Amon Ross St. Brown. So how about the guy throwing him the ball? Jared Goff, top five in touchdown passes last season. 20.6 fantasy points per game when he plays indoors. As we've talked about so many times, seven of their eight final games are played in a dome this year indoors. And I also really like Isaiah Pacheco. He had 15 or more touches in every game from weeks 10 through 16. And we saw it in the playoffs, especially in the Super Bowl. Like they started using him in the passing game. I, I, I know there's some concern that CEH is going to be mixed in with him and McKinnon. And all of a sudden it's a three-headed monster. But Pacheco, I think, proved that he can be the lead back and maybe have some passing game usage on, again, one of the best offenses in football. Last one for me, Adam Thielen. Adam Thielen is just dominating targets in the preseason. They're going to have to throw to someone in Carolina. And Adam Thielen, who's basically been left for dead in drafts, I think is somebody that, as long as he stays healthy, will be a productive wide receiver three. Hey, it's Matthew Berry from NBC Sports and Rotoworld.com. Just want to thank you so much for watching what you just watched, or at least being too lazy to click out of it after the you know autoplay just kept it going. So either way, thank you so much for just letting it scroll by your screen. And now I'd like to ask you respectfully, 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 okay, respectfully, please subscribe to the NFL on NBC YouTube channel for the latest NFL news, fantasy headlines from Rotor World, and betting analysis from NBC Sports Edge.